Kia ora kofai kohanga, it's Mr. Smith here again and we're reading day four of Another Mother where we will be looking at some of the spelling involved in some of the creative words that are used in the text. So I'm going to read it all the way through and then we're going to come back to one page. So if you'd like to read with me that would be really great. Okay. Emu Chick came out of the egg. He saw a mother's wibbly wobbly head and he chirped. How very scary! I want another mother. Emu Chick saw Fox and he chirped. Here's another mother. That's not your mother, buzzed the bees. Not your mother, not your mother, squawked the birds in the trees. But Emu Chick chirped, mind your own business. Emu Chick sat down by Fox. Come closer, said Fox. And Emu Chick did. Tasty. Then Emu Chick saw cheeky sneaky eyes and he chirped, how very scary, I want another mother. So Emu Chick went looking. Emu Chick saw Snake and he chirped, here's another mother. That's not your mother, buzz the bees, not your mother. Not your mother, squawked the birds in the trees. But Emu Chick chirped, mind your own business. And he sat down by Snake. Come closer, said Snake. And Emu Chick did. <laughs> then Emu Chick saw a flicking, licking tongue. And he chirped. How very scary. I want another mother. So Emu Chick went looking. But rain came, splish, splash, sploshing. Wind came, woo, woo, whooshing. And Emu Chick was all alone. How very, very scary. Then Emu Chick saw a wibbly wobbly head and he felt some snuggly wuggly feathers. It's your mother, buzzed the bees. It's your mother, it's your mother, squawked the birds in the trees. And Emu Chick chirped, I know and I don't want another mother. And we're going to go back to this page, just one back here. It's raining, Emu Chick's going to get cold and wet, but there are, oh no, so we're going to go back to this page here. <laughs> Sorry about that. This page here where he's all alone, very, very scary. I just want to have a look at some of these words here. The words used to describe the rain falling, splish, splish, sploshing. That shh sound in there is really effective, isn't it? That's definitely a water splashing, there you go, splashing <laughs> type of word. So that shh, shing, 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 shing is definitely helping to make the rain form a picture inside your head. Similarly with the wind words, we touched on this yesterday, how these are actually spelt with three O's. And that's not actually correct spelling, but it does help you to extend the word out. Woo, woo, whooshing. I say it's not correct, but if you want to, if the writer wants to write it, then it's correct, isn't it? So there you go. And it's got exclamation marks after each as well. Woo, woo, whooshing. 
definitely the sound of the wind. So there you go. Have a look at these words. Another thing about this is the start of the words, the spl, 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 spl. It's kind of like got this real good feel to it. Splish, splish, splashing. I wonder what words you could come up with if you were to describe a picture in your story. Ah, maybe we'll work on that tomorrow. Okay. Bye for now.